And so on the last episode, we were talking about increasing or improving the efficiency. And even before that, we were degreeing the GSR cams because it's going to be a limited cam for this B20 VTEC. So we're going to talk about all the valuable ways we can increase efficiency. And of course, try to get more power from the actual setup by way of induction, exhaust, and also ultimately increase the volumetric efficiency above 100. So hey, this one is going to be really, really interesting just for you. Okay, here we are with the PCT pistons we've cleaned up for the B16B project and the ITR crank. And of course, there's the B16B block. But of course, let's go to the B20 VTEC owned by Mac. Here we left the degree kit so that we can talk about how we visualize increasing efficiency or how we improve volumetric efficiency altogether. And of course, I'm sharing this so that you guys can avoid spending money that's not really, you know, helping the improvements of the engines because it was just told by friends or some expert in Facebook and just says that's how they do it and that's what works and without nothing else, right? So hey, let me show you guys how I visualize things. It might help you guys see how to improve things or setups on your engine or, you know, avoid spending too much. So the cam gear is zero on the intake and plus one on exhaust. This way it gives us 108 loop center. Yes, the intake is yet to be welded, but it's already and all good. Okay, so here you can see, of course, induction comes in from the intake side here and then combustion stage and then out in the exhaust right okay so now let's go to the degree wheel i mean you know let's turn it okay now it's combustion and then soon it's gonna be the exhaust stroke keep going okay there the exhaust is opening now so now it's the exhaust stroke yes as it opens exhaust fumes and you know spent gases come out gets pulled out if it's scavenging really well okay we got to the exhaust lift max lift now it's closing there okay now it's closed so now think about it the better exhaust scavenging you do the greater vac vacuum you will have on the chamber before the intake opens so it's gonna be good and now going back to that you guys remember this drawing i made of the exhaust right i'm trying to show you guys how to visualize this okay so as the exhaust travels before it leaves the exhaust muffler or the muffler tip as it comes out there, it's already pulling the incoming charge from the header, okay? Because it's interconnected. So here, as this portion here comes out, it actually pulls the incoming exhaust that's coming from the header. So it's actually interconnected because it's all fluid and it's flowing all together. So this is helping scavenge. So the better exhaust system helps exit the spent gases, even some of the carbon buildup. This way it creates a little bit more vacuum in the chamber as the valve intake opens. It's it's rushing in. It's making more efficient. It's gonna be, I mean, it's gonna be more efficient running. And it, this is why it's funny locally, not in the US, because the US guys know a bit more about this. But this is why it's funny locally when some would say 18 inch resonator is better than the 24 inch because it gives more top end and the 24 inch gives more mid-range but that's not even the total exhaust length or the, the equivalent of the exhaust system it's just one resonator and if you ask them oh they're gonna tell you their friend ran that that's why so you're gonna rely on that and spend your hard-earned money that's that doesn't make sense right so okay now going back once you get the exhaust really good like this it's gonna create vacuum on the chamber it helps pull in the induction or the intake right so now let's go to the intake and so hopefully this is helping you guys visualize how i see it and how it's actually quite easy to improve combustion here's the combustion cycle it's gonna fire up and you know create horsepower and once it's spent the exhaust opens and it's the exhaust cycle all right so it's gonna okay maximum lift and we keep going so it's scavenging and scavenging and now it's closed so this probably should create a vacuum on the chamber as so the intake opens it sucks in air 
as well as the intake pipe pushing more charge or more air into the chamber or into the ports so it's going to make it more efficient this way on the compression stage it's actually feeling it more than it's normally should or than 100 percent that's how you exceed 100 percent volumetric efficiency and that's the trick here this is why i port the intake manifold because we make it easier for the whole sequence or for the whole system to function not just the intake manifold but including the intake pipe so here you see the exhaust the vacuum there should be sucking in more air and of course the injector is gonna push more fuel as you tune it properly now it's more packed and you're gonna get more power and this is why locally it's funny because people actually want a cam or a you know a racing cam whatever but when you think about it it's not even efficient the system i mean their engine i call it the system because it all has to function all together like for example if you put the racing cam or whatever they call that and your induction is inadequate and your exhaust is no good you're just giving more stress to the engine and not even making it run faster than it should and so you increase compression and then you start picking now isn't that a common local trend right come on you gotta admit that and also to improve the intake here if you guys remember this illustration i made so imagine this the cold air intake or the length itself it starts stacking up air one another and of course with the ported intake manifold imagine as the intake valve is closed this is stacking on air onto the pores into the throat so as soon as the exhaust starts scavenging and it finishes its job creates a small amount of vacuum on the chamber as it opens this is going to rush in that's how you increase volumetric efficiency and we talk about this because max b20 vtec is limited with the gsr cam so it doesn't mean it won't make power we're going to try to see how much improvement or how far we can go with the gsr cam and i know you guys like that because you don't have to spend money right i mean that's how we are here at my shop we're gonna make things work according to your budget unlike other shops locally that you know they claim to be builders but you know something happened and now sooner they're gonna be closing down and so one thing i gotta say to that is if you're getting out of the game now you were never in it anyway right and talking about improved efficiency i'm sure some of you guys or most of you guys haven't seen this but the very first series that we did at the beginning of this channel more than a year ago this one this local vti we rebuilt it and it's still stock it's still 16 lobes it's not even a po8 head and of course suddenly the owner and the son decided to start racing it so they had it tuned and guess what it actually beat a local sir on their town so that's crazy right and you know here here we got a the, the owner sent me a video because he was just stoked that he was performing that good here you go sounds really good right that's just a stock vti rebuilt our way with just head porting that's it and link will be in the description below don't worry about it guys another thing that's very important is crankcase breathers because it lessens the windage loss of the engine this way it's turning easier with less crankcase pressure and that's gonna make it run higher or more efficient and better and this is something me and Benji Ko has been talking about in the SRD Motorsports page lately about breather systems. And this one is going to be for him. I mean, I got an extra fitting for him because he also runs a B20 VTEC on CTR cam. So that probably runs really, really good. So here we have two straight ones and a bent one. So you guys can choose which one works for you bo best because both works. So we're going to install this because I took this one out just to show you guys for the video. Okay. Of course, this won't be hand tight. We're just doing this for example or to show you guys. Okay. Now we put the the straight one or no, no sorry the bent one 
it moves up so you tilt it so it doesn't hit the intake manifold but you know just right so that it doesn't hit the oil filter okay we put the other one on the other side it goes there to the catch can all right so wait let's try the straight one first before we try both okay because the straight one we also use this actually ecu later's ef uses a straight one because the catch can is at the battery location so it just the hose bends up so it's no problem here's the straight one it at times it's also easier because you can just easily install the hose going to the breather the bent one you have to do it properly with the oil filter and without the intake manifold just to be sure it's aligned properly okay now let's put the bent one back all right let's see what benji co wants the bent one or the, or the straight one because he can choose either one all right we tilt that yep okay now we put the second one where's the second one there all right we show you guys and you can see we're going to move the, the phone closer a little later to show you guys exactly the routing of the breather lines of how we do it okay let's get the phone now Wait, oh shit no just straighten this well let's tighten it okay okay there all right now we get the phone unclip the phone to the holder from the holder i mean there you go so you know it gets away from the oil filter but the hose when you install it it just goes back to the catch can really good yep now you have two breather systems or two breathers on the back of the block this is going to help efficiency really good yep this engine is going to be really good you know so now even benji Ko is going to have an even further efficient b20 vtec so it's gonna be really really good all right and here's the good view of the breather fitting and for the hose on the back of the block on the b20 so every b20 that we do we put this breather in because as you check on this video we made earlier on about crankcase evacuation it's gonna be really really crucial so you guys check it out it'll be in the description below don't worry about that okay it's gonna this is gonna help increase volumetric efficiency therefore give you tons more power or actually you know a little more power than it should with just a gsr cam and this is how we do a lot of things when we build engines here yeah and actually even the very first engine i built it's a d15 b7 stock everything just fully rebuilt by me and ported head it ran 14.8 with just a cold air intake so hey you know this is why you gotta subscribe it like and share the video because we'll keep sharing crazy good stuff like this just for you to help out your projects